Once you've added media to a timeline, you have some options for configuring what pixels it's actually playing back on. This is handled in the Mapping tab. When I go to my Mapping tab, I see all of my pixel matrices across the top. I then have the ability to select fixtures within these matrices and move them accordingly. Notice when I move this that I'm now seeing a different output on my fixture. I'm seeing black on the top row here because they're no longer on the video content. I can change what the properties of my matrix are by going to Properties and setting either greater widths and heights. Notice that I now have two different colors of gray here. The darker gray is something that is outside of the video. The lighter gray is stuff that is inside of the video. The white are my individual pixels. So I can rearrange this to decide which pieces of the video the fixtures are actually listening to. When I'm working with something like this candle, I want to keep in mind that maybe I don't want my fixtures to represent exactly where the wick is. Instead, maybe I want them to do part of the background of the image, where we're actually seeing the reflection of the candle, not the light itself. As you work with different pieces of media, placing your fixtures in different parts of the pixel map can help you emphasize what parts of the video you're truly wanting to output.